The war in Ukraine is grinding towards winter. Now, even as Vladimir Putin lays false claim to more Ukrainian land, Ukraine's forces continue their counteroffenses across the east and the south. But the cost in human life and terror for the people of Ukraine continue to mount day by day. In a region that Russia claimed as its own, targets today once again were civilians. Emergency workers rushed to save anyone stuck underneath the rubble after seven Russian missiles hit the southern city of Zaporizhia. Entire residential buildings crushed in another brutal attack. 13-year-old Vladislav survived, but is now homeless. I didn't understand what was happening. It was as if I were in the middle of a fog. I don't know how to describe this feeling. I was very afraid. Zaporizhia's regional governor said at least three people were killed, but he remained defiant. The enemy is terrorizing a peaceful population. We will hold on and we'll win. All will be Ukraine. President Vladimir Putin invaded to prevent that and signed laws this week that illegally annex four Ukrainian regions into Russia, including Zaporizhia. Europe's largest nuclear plant is there, seized by Russia in early March. The plant is still operated by Ukrainian engineers, but yesterday Russia's leader declared it was, quote, federal property. For months, Ukrainian and U.N. officials have warned of a potential nuclear catastrophe after explosions inside the plant. Today, the director of the U.N. nuclear watchdog, Rafael Grossi, said an accident was still possible. We are here in a conflict. We are here in a war. We want this war to stop. The war should stop immediately. And, of course, uh, the position of the IAEA is that this facility is a Ukrainian facility. Speaking in Prague to a new club of European nations, President Vladimir Zelensky condemned Russia's actions. Absolute meanness, absolute evil. There have already been thousands of manifestations of such evil. Unfortunately, there may be thousands more. Russia's recent drafting of more than 200,000 reservists means newly mobilized soldiers like these are now training to join the war. The guys are in combat mode. Everybody understands that the motherland asked for their help, and we will fulfill our duty. Ukraine's military sees its duty as liberating territory seized by Moscow and unleashed a new counteroffensive in the southern Kherson region, where officials say they've retaken more than 150 square miles of territory in less than a week. These soldiers near Kherson filmed the moment Russian forces surrendered to Ukrainian troops. But the bulk of their advances have been in the east, where Ukrainian troops last weekend claimed victory in Liman. There, Russian troops retreated so quickly, they even left the bodies of their own dead lying on the ground. The city is now in ruins after more than four months of Russian occupation. Hundreds of hungry residents who survived weeks sheltering inside have now emerged for the first time, desperate to receive humanitarian aid. We want the war to come to an end. We want the pharmacy and shops to start working as they used to do as well as hospitals. Everything is destroyed and pillaged, a complete disaster. A Russian disaster that's left millions of Ukrainians internally displaced, in need of food and shelter, and now heat for the long and hard winter to come.